Welcome back to the channel guys, Judo Sloth here. Recently we had some balance changes in Clash of Clans affecting the ground meta and I wanted to test it out with the hybrid attack strategy. What I think is the best Town Hall 13 attack for 3 stars right now. I did 2 war attacks today and I am going to bring you them live. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> For my attack, it is relatively complex in the sense that I need to deploy everything pretty quickly to keep my other troops on track. So I'm going to funnel by deploying all of my different areas pretty quickly. It sounds more complex than it is, but I will explain it to you and obviously you'll get to see it live. But I also have some backup plans in case that doesn't quite work. My queen walks, I miss the town hall, then we've got some backup plans. So. For the Town Hall, a Queen Charge I think is perfect. When I first looked at this base, I saw the Town Hall, saw the scatter shot. why don't we Queen Charge in there? One set of Wall Breakers would get her in, beautiful. Now the Scout Attack by Firebird, which was 82%, used the Yetis, but it did show me a couple of things. There's three Ice Golems in the CC, don't really have to worry about that too much to be honest. There's a Tesla here in front of the Elixir Storage, that will basically just stall my Queen for a couple of seconds, that's actually a good thing so I can continue to make the funnel. There's a Tesla down here, but actually I think a baby dragon onto the dark barracks is enough for the funnel. And then we are going to use the king on the opposite side of the base, set the funnel for the miners and hogs, who will come down straight onto the first scatter shot. That's the reason I'm attacking from that side. I've got to hit that scatter shot pretty early on. I can actually freeze the scatter shot and the multi as they come in, so that's pretty good. And by getting the hogs and miners in early, not only does it help help with time but it should help with my queen getting into the base here so whilst they will then struggle a little bit and start going around basically if they get into that area with the scatter shot with the multi inferno they should then be drawn down over into the thick of the base because the king's on the outside and whilst they might spread from there that's where I am then going to be using my royal champion and my siege barracks very adjustingly so probably one I'm assuming or presuming is that my siege barracks and the royal champion will come in from around about eight o'clock just to kind of funnel this area and that will keep the miners swooping through the middle and across to the far multi inferno we might even put the royal champion over there or obviously if things go awry we will be using the royal champion and the siege barracks or one of the other siege machines over to the town hall so that's the plan of action guys let's hope that it works i'm feeling okay about it it's not the worst plan in the world to be honest but let's go we're in no turning back now so baby drag in this corner followed by queen one test balloon and the healers one wall break to be honest guys i have taken way too many wall breaks for this but we can bring them in that should get us through the wall compartment it does and then we can go with the king on this side one wizard and we're good baby dragon has set that funnel queen is going in we can actually use a wizard here look just to help secure the queen on the way in let's rage and we are all good absolutely perfect at this point absolutely perfect queen can continue to come forward she's got the scatter shot tanked so now we can go with the miners and the hog riders followed with the grand warden we can freeze this looking very very good at the moment do we freeze it again no hogs and miners are doing okay we do have the ice golems onto them i kind of thought they would go to the queen to be honest let's now go with the siege barracks to start the funnel over in that area uh, let's use the Grand Warden's ability because we've got a lot with a Rage spell, I think. Let's use the Queen's ability. She nearly went down there, which is difficult for us. Another heal. Royal Champion in this area. And I think the Queen is fine. We can use the Freeze onto this area. My Hogs and Miners are taking a little bit to get through this, but it shouldn't be too bad. The Queen's all set. We don't need to use a Rage on that, so we can actually use the Rage for the Hogs and Miners. We've still got the Royal Champion's ability. We've still got a Balloon, in fact. 
Where could we use the loon? Probably now the best thing is to wait until all of the defenses go down. Now this is where I have made a little bit of a mistake in that all of my hogs and miners are down, but we funneled everything that well that actually we're all set. Let's use the royal champion's ability. What took my queen down? Oh, did you see the se seeking shield fly across the base? In order to take that final defense, we have done it with a minute to spare. And whilst my hogs and miners did go down, and probably not the best in terms of the middle of that base, I think the fact that we picked things apart so well, got the pathing, really helped out, and the ground balance changes, well, hog riders, miners, they still got it done. That was perfect to get the three stars. I'm not sure there's anything else we could have done. Potentially, I am going to look it back. I'll tell you in the next video. Is there anything else we could have done into the center of that base when the Hogs and Miners got stuck? This attack is a little bit trickier. The main reason is that this bottom area behind the gold storage where the Bomb Tower and Wizard Tower are, that is filled with Tesla. And that's a little bit tricky, but my plan for it is to drop the Siege Barracks into this area and that will enable the Pekka and the Wizards to clear out that pretty nicely. With the Hog Riders behind it, I think they should clear that area out relatively well. And the Queen over to the 9 o'clock section will mean that again she can charge into the Town Hall. Then what I will be doing is using my King on this outside to push down over and my Hogs and Miners straight in. That will go through one multi, Scattershot and the second multi. It does mean that I should get through the splash a little bit easier, but it does mean that to the back end scatter shot, it's a little bit tricky. So I think the Royal Champion will be best used across to this side to try and flank across to the three o'clock section, move across to the scatter shot, and try and help just to push the Hogs and Miners straight up to the Eagle and scatter shot a little bit easier. That's the plan. It's a little bit all over the place, if I'm honest with you, but I think we can get it to work. So let's go for it, guys, and let's hope. Let's just hope we get it to work. Ultimately, that is the main thing. So I think the baby dragon in that area will be pretty good as well, guys, because the baby dragon will be free from any of the... Um, air defenses and it's going to basically be fine in terms of pathing so it's not going to lose its enraged bonus did lose a coconut loon to that area come on wall breakers get yourself through yes they do yes they do we can use the coconut loon rage poison town hall is going to go down the hog riders have gone in fact from that area didn't quite get it all down if you look so not ideal the balloon got pushed back over and that ended up being a good thing for us so let's go with the king on this side once the king takes down that hogs and miners will come in here we go miners hogs grand warden okay and let's get a heal in relatively early on trying to keep a little bit of an eye on my queen as well over to that side looking okay we can freeze the scatter shot Grand Warden's ability, and I think we rage the Hogs and Miners through that. Queen's ability goes off. Royal Champion, as the King, is doing a good job over there. Freeze the scatter shot. Hogs and Miners doing okay, but they are going to go down quickly here. Another heal over to that area. Then we've got a wit Wizard, Archer. Oh, come on, Queen. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Yes, let's use the Rage on the Hogs and Miners. I think that's better than on the Queen. We've still got the Royal Champion's ability, but I am going to hold on to that for the moment. Now let's use it. I always want to use it rather than losing it. We've still got Miners. We've got a minute and 20. Let's... Ah, oh, we should have put the Wall Breakers in quicker to tank that Wizard Tower. Are we still going to get this? Royal Champion gets the final defense. Hogs and Miners around the base. Yes, guys. We are going to get it. And it is 
going to be a six pack using the hog riders and using the miners so there you go still very much top of the meta best attack strategy at town hall 13 in my opinion and that is how you get it done create that pathing get them onto the splash move them through the base and there you go that one i feel worked even better than the first attack so a six pack it was the hybrid attack still very viable still very strong the best town hall attack in my opinion yesterday though we used what you guys requested for the legend league attacks the mass witches it didn't end up as well if you do want to check out that video i will link it on your screen right here i'll see you guys across there but if not we will see you back on the channel tomorrow until then have a good one